here at 535 happening this week football is back y'all Colts players headed to training camp practice starts on Wednesday and as always our boys in blue already have several events planned where they are going to give back to the community CBS 4's Jessica Hayes shows you what they're going to be doing and how you can help after Colts camp was closed to fans last year, Colts Nation is invited back to Grand Park in Westfield this year, and the team has a full lineup of ways you can help pay it forward. First, they have so many kids events. Youth Sports Day is this Thursday. Then Kids Day is Saturday. That's the only Saturday afternoon practice. And next Monday is back to school day. For these days, think giveaways, face painting, and lots of games on a brand new Play 60 field. Also, this year for the entire Colts camp, they're paying it forward by hosting a Books for Youth collection. Colts Nation is asked to donate new or gently used books for kids in the foster care system. After a year like COVID where some kids were out of school for for you know, very large portions of the year, we know that this is a need now more than ever. And we know the Colts always show appreciation for our military members. Armed Forces Day is back this year. That's August 11th. And this year, Frontline Worker Appreciation Day is August 17th. The Ursay family has made that an, as a pillar in our organization to, to continue to give back and to help those around us because we know as the Colts, we couldn't exist here in Indianapolis without our fan base. Colts camp runs through August 25th. We've got that full schedule of events, including how you can help pay it forward at our website, cbs4indy.com hope. In the newsroom, I'm Jessica Hayes, CBS4 News.